Hello, and thanks for joining us from our studios in Israel. I'm Denise Wood here with ILTV's Morning Briefing. The Zionist Union Party has said several times that it won't join a Likud-led government. But now party leader Isaac Herzog is saying he would consider joining the coalition if the prime minister removes Naftali Bennett and the Jewish Home Party. Herzog is calling on Netanyahu to distance himself from the far right and says that if he does, there could be room for talks on a unity government. Herzog has indicated in the past that his party could join the coalition if Israel makes moves for a diplomatic solution with the Palestinians. Herzog claims the Zionist Union can help Israel advance the peace process, which won't happen if the Jewish Home Party is in the coalition. The U.S. State Department has released a report saying that Iran is the biggest state sponsor of terrorism in the world. The 2015 report states that Iran provides a range of financial support, training and equipment to terror groups around the world, and says Iran specifically supports Hezbollah, Hamas and other Palestinian terror groups in Gaza. The report claims that in 2015, there were around 12,000 terror attacks worldwide, carried out in 92 countries, killing more than 28,000 people and injuring over 35,000. The report comes in contrast to claims made by the White House, which tried to downplay Iran's state sponsorship of terrorism during the nuclear agreement negotiations with Iran. Last month, Obama's Deputy National Security Advisor Ben Rhodes admitted that the White House had set up groups and experts to lobby for the deal and downplay Iran's role in sponsoring terrorism. Opponents of the Iran deal are now accusing the White House of intentionally misleading the American public. Under arches of rainbow balloons and flags, more than 200,000 people hit the streets of Tel Aviv in Friday's annual Pride Parade. Culture Minister Miri Regev told participants that she loves the gay community and was happy to see so many participating in the event. Regev claims the government must do more to help the LGBT community and to ensure that they are treated equally in society. Many people attending the parade are not gay, but joined in a show of solidarity with the community. An estimated 30,000 foreign tourists attended the parade, which has established itself as a major event on the international LGBT calendar. A new report by the Bloomberg News Service is showing that foreign investment in Israel is on the rise, despite the BDS movement. The report concludes that efforts by the boycott movement to isolate Israel have failed miserably, and the Jewish state is actually seeing a dramatic rise in international investments. Even within the West Bank, the boycott, divest and sanctions movement has made little overall impact. Since the boycott movement launched its anti-Israel efforts in 2005, foreign investment has grown by 300%. In fact, foreign investment is now at an all-time annual high of $285 billion. And the report claims most foreign investors reject the idea that divesting from Israel helps the Palestinians. That's all for now. I'm Denise Wood and see you later with our main daily broadcast from Israel at 2 p.m. Eastern Time.